Okay, so are you one of these people who always wants to hit the driver well, but doesn't? Hitting the driver is quite a difficult club to hit, and it's one that can give us real problems from the word go. So I'm gonna give you some advice and some help. I'm giving you three little tips that'll help you hit your driver better, which will result in longer and straighter drives. So the main thing I see is people losing distance and direction. Most people, you want them people that sort of slice it off to the right, and the harder we try, we either hit miles to the right or we, or we hit a bullet straight over to the left. Um, and then we become scared and a little bit cagey about hitting the driver. So giving you these three tips, um, it, it's gonna help you hit these drivers longer and straighter. Now the majority of the people I'm talking about here tend to get the body too far forward straight away the arms leave the body because our, 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 our shoulders are now level but our hand our right hand is is lower than our left hand so our shoulders that shows that our body tilt now he's got he's moving this way that creates on a bit of a downward spinny hit which creates this big high weak shot to the right now you do this in again in windy conditions the ball goes nowhere the harder we try and sort of bully the ball the more trouble we put ourselves in so We've got to let the club work for us, but give ourselves the best opportunity to, to hit it longer and straighter. So, going on that first point, what I see is when people set up to the driver, they get these shoulders quite level and the spine angle sort of tilts down towards the ball because they're thinking, right, this is gonna get it, this ball now. So one little tip is I want you to just drop, put your club, put your chin up. This keeps your, your head up off your chest. Worst bit of advice in golf is keep your head down, okay? so. Rest it on your, rest your chin on the driver head and then just tilt so that the, the driver grip just kisses the inside of your left knee. Now I know, I can feel that I'm in this position now to launch that ball and I know that I'm getting in that. Now you can practice this while you stood on the tee chatting, while you're waiting at home and you're feeling, so you don't get too much this way because it'll be pushing into your leg and also if you get into your normal one, then actually yeah, that driver's going backwards, it's giving you a reference and sometimes you need that because you can't always feel what you're doing, so you need some sort of reference to show it you. So, great tip is getting that, but getting yourself loaded up to pull the trigger. So, under the chin, and then just let that driver grip just touch the inside of your, of your left knee. You now know that you're behind the ball, you're ready to load, and you're ready to sort of set that ball on a good launch. So what I'm trying to say really is, in this position, there's no excuse for being in the wrong place. Yeah, this, this move isn't gonna turn you into hitting it like Rory McIlroy, but it's gonna give you the best chance to. I always say to my students, you know, I'm not as fast as Usain Bolt at running, but I am in the blocks. So when I'm in the block, this is me in the blocks ready to go. So there's no excuse to be wrong, okay? I'm giving myself every opportunity to hit that shot correct. Okay, so the key thing as well, I see a lot of golfers is, when we get this body forward, we start to aim everything slightly left as well. And we, we struggle then to find where middle is. Again, what we're feeling, we think, yeah, the club's good, everything's off. We're getting steep and we come across the ball. So this is an old drill. Uh, a lot of you might have seen this, but it's a great little drill to practice. Use this at the range, use it in the nets, use it when you're just playing a few holes on your own. And all I want you to do is set yourself up Get your little tilt so you're feeling good. You can feel when you do that that you load your right side. Set yourself up. And a little additive, I like to hover the club because that just stops me from snatching it. So this drill, and all I do is I set myself up and I move it back here. And what that does, it moves everything a little bit more up the right. And it'll get me swinging the club more behind me, which will get my hands nice and deep behind me. And I can feel that that's where I'm gonna come into the ball and hit it more right up its backside and give myself a good launch and some good power. So it feels a bit funny at first, but you set yourself up, give yourself the tilt, feel the load, set it up this way, and then just pull it back about a foot or so. You'll feel everything sort of go up that right, and then just swing it nice and smooth. The ball will start slightly right, but you'll see it start to come back again. Just by creating that feel of, right, I'm getting that hands right behind me nice and deep, and I'm not getting the club this way and across the ball and steep and weak. I'm getting the club now here and I can get my hands nice and deep behind me and load up this right side. 
That's going to give us better strikes, which will create more distance and more fairways hit. Okay, so the third and final tip. This is a little drill. This is what I see. You know, people go to the range or they come and have lessons and all they talk about is driver, driver, driver. And they go and hit drivers at the range and sometimes they hit it well and sometimes they hit it badly. And when they're at the range, there's no sort of challenge. It's just a nice big wide open practice ground. So they swing it nice and free and tend to hit it okay. And then they get onto the tee and all of a sudden we see bunkers, trees, hazards. We get a shot here, so we try trying a little bit more and we don't hit the driver as well. And different thoughts start coming into the process. So you have a little routine of what you're actually trying to do. You've got more chance of pulling that shot off. So this little drill, I call a bit of a tee wall. And all I do is I just set it up just, to, just in front of my ball. It can be a towel, it can be a head cover, but I use uh, tees here. If you're at the range, you can use the rubber tees in front of you. And I would set yourself up and we're gonna get a little uh, tilt in our spine there, gonna load it up. We can have a couple of swings to start with, with the club back to get the feel of that, hands getting nice and deep. And then what we're trying to do is swing up. So we're hitting this, we're launching this up. Like I say, the majority of people who hit them weak right shots or them bullets left is they come in steep, they come down, they spin it up and the ball whizzes off to the right, nice weak shot. If we get it this way, we get this real strong bullet, we square the face up because we don't want to go right and we hit one straight left like a rocket into the trees. So this is going to get, when you watch these top players, they launch the ball fantastically, which gets the ball in the air, moving forward, and when it's in the air, it's going forward. So. We're going to set ourselves up, little spine tilt, and all we're doing is working that club up over the wall, up over the wall, so we're going to launch it. So then when we're ready, again, I like to give it a little hover, which just takes away the tension and gives me a bit of more uh, smooth takeaway. And I'm going to launch this up over the tee wall. That's what I'm going to focus on. So when I'm on the tee, I'm just thinking up over the wall. I get a lovely launch and because I'm focusing on a good delivery of the club, I'll tend to hit the ball more out the middle, better strikes, more fairways and more distance. Give this a go when you get on the course and when you go to the range and let us know how you get on. A new place, a new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt.